In this video, I'm going to show you how hard it is to fit a wiper filler panel on a Commodore. It's tough work. Today, we're working on this uh, filler panel here, which I must say is the biggest piece of garbage I've ever seen. It's terrible. Now, I was looking, how do I install this thing? And the instructions say, put self-tappers through here. I'm not gonna wreck the car to put self-tappers through here to hold this thing up, you crazy morons. What I plan to do is, the uh, last resort is self-tappers through here to pull that up. Did a little Googling and found online that uh, there's, little, there's little tabs that come over here and then attach to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna try making some of those that just fold over, you know, fold over that lip there and it's attached on here somewhere. So we'll put a few along there, we'll make up a few. So it holds that back section up under here. And then that front lip there is just meant to rest on there. And then there's a piece of rubber that goes over. So that's the task for the moment. And I'll make some of these clips up and uh, see how it goes. Well, here's my prototype. So I've just got some one mil gal that I've got lying around, bent it up into some sort of fashion, quickly marked it there. And the plan will be screw it to the back side of that. And hopefully all the way along and something like that and hopefully it stays so I'll just fit it in place and give you a quick gander at what it's going to look like it'll roughly look something like this once it's in so that's all you can see I will paint those black or something like that but this is how poor this thing fits these corners here bend up when I think they need to bend down. So I'm gonna to have to heat that up to try and change that shape. And it's the same both corners. Cause, oh, you know, might be able to push it down like that. And maybe a screw, maybe a, you know, a small hole in there just into that lip. That'll probably be the best option, I reckon. Just to give it some hope but it's still totally the wrong shape so it does need to be bent a little bit but that is how i want that to sit and then because it's one mil i can maneuver that with my hands to get that in the right shape so that's what i'm looking at doing i'll catch you up when i've got a bit more done two-thirds of the way there i've got a clip there and a clip there still need to make one for here and I've got a vice grip on the end there and that is sitting a lot more better than what it ever has get this last one on I reckon that's it and then a screw in each end bada boom bada bing done then we'll sand it paint it black lovely I finally got the last clip made and it actually sits up there all right so what needs to happen now is I did heat up these corners that's why there's a bit of blistering in there I don't know if I mentioned that previously but drill a hole there through there hold that down it does need a slight shave along this edge for it to sit down properly. So that's an easy thing to do. So get it back off, properly get these clamp, these or, or these, these brackets how I want them. And then I can sand it back and paint it. So it will end up working all right, even though it's a horrible, horrible fit. But I'm glad I thought in my head to do a different way than drilling holes into the 
all through here. Worst comes to worst, it'll be a couple of holes just in that panel there, and that's it. I've done quite a lot of shaving off this front lip now, and fits somewhere that I'm happy with. I've just used the uh, grinder to grind it back roughly. Now I'll uh, hand sand that back so it's nice and looks somewhat decent. I've also trimmed back some of the excess on these tabs. So they're good. I'll clean them up with the grinder as well so they're nice and symmetrical. Now the other thing is not everyone is the same size. They're slightly different all over so don't if you're going to do this don't make them all the same and expect that they're all going to fit because it doesn't work that way so i made them all individually so i've got to remember that they go back in that same spot or it's not going to go back on now installation is quite easy just give me a sec i'll take it off and i'll show you how i put it on Right, installation is pretty easy, so you want to get your grooves over your bonnet hinges. So you get that in there, and then you just want to hook your little hooks over that lip. Rotate him down, and then it's pretty much in. Well, I've just been putting vice grips on the edges to hold it in, but... That's how simple it seems to get in, so yeah, not too bad on that front. So I was gonna put the bonnet back on, but thought let's get this thing in first before we put the bonnet on and then worry about that later. So good decision. Although you probably could do it with the bonnet on, but easier with it off. I've sanded back the infill 240, 400, just filling out the imperfections from the heat, the blisters. Once that dries, I'll sand that back again, clean it up. Hopefully it gets a coat of paint on it. And while I'm painting that, I've been sanding back the rear quarter trims. So I'll get those ready for paint as well. I think I'll hang them on the clothesline because there's no rain due today. It is a bit chilly, but should be right. I'll hang it on the clothesline so I don't have to mask up anything in here. Edges are now sanded back. And it's ready to clean down, mix some paint, and get it on. Let's get moving. Well, you wouldn't bloody read about it, would you? Not meant to rain. I get the final coat on, the third and final coat, and it starts raining. So I have to run, get everything inside, wet coat, water on it. I, I don't know how these are going to turn out. I've had to bring everything inside, run everything inside and hang it. These shouldn't be too bad because they were hanging vertical. This one was hanging vertical as well, but at a slight angle and water everywhere f***ing hell what a f***ing prick and you know what makes it even worse as soon as i get them inside it stops raining what are the bloody chances huh f***ing hell, f***ing i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they're stuffed and they're gonna have to be redone again Thank you, Mother Nature. It's the next day. It's had time to somewhat try and dry, but the rain is stuck in it. So I think the only option I've got is sand it back and paint it again. Now you can see all those marks are all raindrops. The rear quarter trims, I think I can get away with because they were hanging straight up and down. I'd only got a bit of rain in here and there's a trim that goes over that, so that'll be hidden. So I think they'll be all right. That is gonna need to be repainted.
very disappointing that that happened and ruined it. So that was, you know, a good few hours just wasted on that. So hopefully it just sands back pretty easy. You know, just sand those because it's actually really lumpy. Like the water has stood up on the surface and yeah, just ruined it. So sand it back quickly, flatten it off, give it another coat. Hopefully only one coat and that'll be it. That can't happen until the weekend because it's so cold and it's night time and I'm not, it's too cold to paint after work. So I have to wait till the weekend. So I'll keep ticking along until then. But moving along, preparing for that infill panel to be ready. I've put the washer nozzles and the wiper arms back through the cowling. So they're now ready to go. Obviously wipers need to still go on, but I need to find them. I don't know where they are. They're in here somewhere. I'll find them, clean them up, and we'll get them on. Happy weekend. I finally got the chance to sand this back. So it's sanded back to 400 again. Got those water bubbles out and it's ready to repaint after a clean. So I'm gonna clean it down. Again, not meant to be any rain today, but I don't trust them anymore. So I'm just gonna hang it up here, under here. I'll spray it with a rattle can this time. The only reason I used the spray gun last time was because I wanted to match those trims with the rest of the car. So this one doesn't matter. Rattle can of satin black, done. Change of plan. It's too cold under cover. So I've bought it out in the sun, just giving it a third coat and hopefully that'll be it. Because this thing has been a right royal pain. Next day, I've given this thing plenty of time to dry. I also painted my brackets. Now the plan is now to put the brackets on here. And what I want to do is on the inside of that, I want to put some, just like a bit of rubber so it's not metal on metal vibrating on the car all the time. Just for some, you know, so it doesn't scratch itself and rub against each other. So I do have some bike in a tube in here somewhere. So I'll find that and I'll just inside there, probably just glue a little piece of rubber inside there. And then it can go on. But, uh, but I need to give it a clean first because it's quite dirty in there. So I'll vacuum that out. That can go on. And that'll finally be job done. What a disaster this piece has been. Doesn't fit. And the weather. Insanity. Okay, let's see if it fits. Test fitting beforehand. It does hit the top of the wiper, so you've got to get it under there. So I'm glad I've properly put the wiper in. Bugger it is. I don't like the rubber in there. Hmm. Doesn't like the rubber. And it doesn't like the wiper motor. Which is right here. Gotta get that up there. Like that. Screw on each side. 
probably could do with one in the middle, but I'm gonna put that rubber strip on first and see if that will hold it down in the place and then I won't put anything. These, I'm just gonna bend over as they're sticking up a little bit so that they're nice and flush. And then that should be job done. And now I have that rubber piece on. That fits on quite well. Holds that rather well. Bent my tabs down. Now they're flush on that lip. Job done. And a quick view from the other side. Ooh, I'm glad that is done. That was annoying. Well, that's another job done on the car. We're getting there, slowly but surely, it's getting there. What did I learn about this one? Aftermarket pieces are crap and you can't trust mother nature. This job just turned out to be disaster after disaster, but I got it done in time that took me a hell of a lot longer than what it should have, but it's done. I need to get a move on and get parts back on this car and get the thing finished. Having said that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.